definitely Dylan and Josh both and Braxton. Uh, that's a really good relay to get a guy who's on second base, you know, a ball that goes off the wall, yeah, to get an out on that. If he catches it, it's a great play. And then uh, obviously the relay, you, you're talking about two perfect throws. And, uh, yeah, definitely uh, helped Micah get through the inning, let him settle down, and he made some pitches after that. Does it say that, does that just speak to the poise that Micah has, even as a freshman, that he was able to settle down after? Can you handle pitches? that while you're sitting in here? Yeah, he's got great. You know, he's got great mound presence, and, and he and he does stick with what what you need to do to pitch, which stay pitch to pitch, and just execute pitches. I kind of feel after that defensive play, he actually was able to just pitch, kind of like what you like to see, just just in terms of just trusting his stuff, trusting the guys. Yeah, absolutely. Him. Yeah, he he definitely went out there after that and, and uh, executed some pitches. I mean, gave us five and a third. And, uh, you know, he um, he battled through it. Probably didn't have his best command today. He'll probably tell you that. And, uh, but you know, pitchers, you know, sometimes you don't have your best stuff. Sometimes you don't have your best command. But that's what pitching is. is getting through with what you have that day. Is the bullpen pitching the best it has all season right now? I hadn't really thought about that. I, I wouldn't say so. I mean, you know, each day's a new day, and uh, Sub hadn't been out there in a while. It's good to see him get out there and throw the ball good. And I think he, what, he walked one guy in an inning. And then he came in and did his job, executed pitches. And But to say that there's a bunch of guys down there, and collectively everybody is in a different spot, I mean, individually. So it's hard to say the whole group's there right now. That third inning, what you like from your batting lineup, just in terms of just being able to kind of string some hits together and just get some good at bats? Yeah, I guess Noisy had the first big one. He hit the triple, kind of kind of gave us a little bit of separation. And then after that, some guys strung together some good at bats, I guess Klein and Josh and Cam. And, um, you know, and then Stillwell had the big swing there at the end. And uh, those are all really good at bats. And, um, you know, it, it's all set up too. I mean, Braxton got on. Uh, I'm pretty sure Gabe got on. Gabe singled. And uh, baseball's a unique game. I mean, um, I was thinking this in the inning, Josh just hit the home run. Gabe had like a 10 pitch at bat in that inning. Didn't have anything to show for it, but kind of set up the inning for everybody else. Seems like a common theme we're going back to, Braxton delivering at the bottom of the lineup. How how key is that? Kind of it two sure percent. doesn't hurt any. I mean, anytime you get anything out, you know, I mean, each tenth of that lineup, I mean, he's, he's nine-tenths of it, and, or whatever it is. And, um, you know, he's, um, yeah, it's huge. I mean, for him to come up with some good at-bats is huge. Where's the biggest place that he's taken a stride at the plate because I know a lot of times the defense has been keeping him on the field but now he's really hitting. Yeah I mean he's staying in the middle of the field. Um, he's moving on the right pitches for the most part so that's probably it right there. Y'all got me wondering how Black Guerrero Jr. did. Does anybody know? He went one for four. He doubled on his last. Did he? At that. Awesome. He win. made an unreal throw though across cool. the diamond. Cool. I believe uh, Dane had a career high in strikeouts tonight. Uh, just what did you think about his Did he? I didn't know that. I thought he threw the ball really well. thought he uh, elevated some pitches and got the ball kind of above the barrel some. Um, executed some balls down in the zone. He was up and down and in and out, which is really good. When he can do, when he can do all those, it's, he's going to be a tough matchup for anybody. Well, um, I, I would have to say uh, Garner coming out there. He, uh, you know, he, he told me what I was doing wrong, and um, from from then on, I kind of just adjusted from that, and uh, you know, just listening to what he has to say out there. What was that major correction? Um, I was flying open, and so my arm was hanging back, and I couldn't locate my fastball, even though I, I didn't really find my, you know, my fastball the whole game, but I, it got better. Well, obviously he struggled the first couple of batters, but I guess just watching Dylan and Josh kind of make that little uh, relay play, how big was that just for your confidence? Because after that, it seemed like you really settled down. Oh, yeah, that the momentum out there that it just you can just feel the difference in there. Yeah, um, for sure it helped my confidence, you know, being able to get the first out, being able to settle in, you know, the great defensive plays back there. It's awesome. I forget what inning it was, but you struck someone out to end the inning. I think you really showed your emotion. <laughs> Uh, is that the kind of pitcher that you are? Are you usually yeah. that emotional? Yeah, I, I believe the uh, 
I gave up a home run that inning, actually, and, you know, I just told myself, you know, move on and, you know, just get through this inning, um, get our bats back out there, and um, I feel like that's, that's what I, I accomplished after that. For you, what makes you so mentally tough, especially as a freshman coming in to college baseball? Um, I would have to say, uh, let's see, I competed with my brother my whole life, my older brother, and uh, my dad has always taught me to, you know, never back down from any competition like that and, you know, just go full throttle. You had eight strikeouts today. I know obviously every pitcher wants to strike out every batter, but what made you kind of find find that ability to not have the ball hit the bat today? Um, I would just say trying to execute my pitches. You know, Gardner's been calling a great game. He watches the film, and I just got to trust in what he has to do. And, you know, today they were sometimes they weren't hitting the ball, yeah. so. Yeah. So I guess uh, how big of a confidence builder is this just for you guys to not only get that first victory against Oklahoma State, but to kind of hold them to so many little runs, especially with the way they've been the last couple weeks? Uh, it's it's great. I would have to say it's going back to uh, the Baylor series. I think we've just kept this momentum. You know, we, we've got our confidence back as a team. Um, we know what we can do, and I feel like that's what we're, you know, we're trying to execute. How important is it, not necessarily the home, just being at home, but just routine factor for you guys to where you're not – you're not necessarily going to different places every other three days. Now you know you're kind of at home and you can really kind of get a routine down. It's definitely nice. You know, um, when we're away, the coaches try and make it as routine as possible. You know, we do, we try to do everything the exact same here, but it's obviously harder. But yeah, having the fans here come out like that, that's also a, a great advantage. For you, you're kind of halfway, through, oh, a little more than halfway through your freshman season. Where do you think you are compared to where you expected yourself to be on the mound? Um, I don't, I don't know how many, uh, what my expectations really were. You know, I just, I guess it's when I, every time I go out there, give my team a chance to win, and I feel like I've, I've been doing that the, the couple starts I've had, and you know, if if we can win when I go out there, then that's great for me. How big has the bullpen been recently behind you? I know Dane and. Um, Ryan both were great today. Oh man, the, the bullpen is just incredible. You know, we everybody out there really. I could name all all of them, and they would I would believe in them. Like Sublet today, he was just he was incredible coming in there. Even though the you know we were winning by so much, it's still important for us to keep the momentum going for tomorrow. Well, it was a pretty far run to me, so I I wasn't watching the ball for most of the time. I was just sprinting to the wall, and then when I looked up and found the ball. I was, a little closer to the wall than I thought, so I just kind of stuck both hands up, and it actually hit my bare hand and kind of stuck, but I hit the wall, so it bounced out, and uh, hit my elbow pretty good. Just tried to get the ball in as soon as I could, because I didn't think I would have caught it anyways, but I just tried to make a good play on it. Just making that play, did you kind of feel a turn up? I know you guys use the term momentum, but did you did you feel something different to where maybe Mike could gain some confidence and kind of trusted you guys behind him and it seemed like he was pitching better after that? Uh, I definitely thought it helped. I mean, every I used to pitch in high school, so when your when your defense makes a good play like that, um, definitely makes you feel better about yourself. Maybe you want to do something for them, go out there, and just compete. It definitely helps. You spend more time with Braxton than other people because uh, you mentioned you were you're his roommate. Where's his confidence level at, especially at the plate right now? Um, I have no idea, actually, but I'm going to assume that it's just like everyone else's. It, it changes every at-bat. You're not going to be down if you're going 0 for 3 this game, your fourth at-bat. You know, I mean, you got to go up there with the same confidence every time, so I'm sure he has a good attitude about it. That third inning, what went right for y'all? Um, got a little help. Um, good at bats to draw some walks. That, that helped. And, um, I mean, just good, good executional hitting, pretty much. Um, six runs in one inning. There's not much more you can ask for. Base, base clearing double by Cole. Thought he'd give us a little better dance, but. No, it's good. Say how many how many triples do you usually leg out? I, I told Josh before this year started I'm gonna I'm gonna beat him in triples. I'm gonna lead the Big Twelve. That's just the confidence I'm have I'm having this year. I'm not I'm not saying that in a bad way in a cocky way. I just I told him hey I'm gonna compete against you for some triples and 
Uh, out of the box, I thought I was going three there anyways, and then he filled the ball before I even touched second, and I was, I was like, well, this should be interesting. I just sent it and it worked out. Because I know Josh is athletic, but can he leg out a triple well enough to, tr to keep up with you? Uh, if he hits it over here in this corner at the right field, I don't know about left center. Like I said, I thought it would be really interesting legging that one out. It, it worked, though.